So we're here at the table with Greg. And Greg has a wonderful display of custom knives here. Greg, how are you doing today? Doing good. So can you tell us a little bit about your knives? Maybe we'll start down here and maybe look back this way. What, like what kind of handle materials are these? Oh, sure. Well, most of the uh, steel stainless CPM 154 RWL34. A lot of the working steels are D2. Okay. The full tang ones. Is there is there a reason why you choose kind of choose those two steels? Personal I like the D2 because some guys like tool steel. And right. D2 is a really good knife steel. It's a really right. tough steel. Uh -huh. And uh, um, the handle material is just a variety. It's all, for the most part, stabilized except for maybe the iron wood. This is uh, like a Jatoba. This is a box out. Yeah, I, I was going to say that looks Curly like Mango. This is actually an elm, a sta uh, spalted elm. Babinga. There's a lot of different uh, combinations that I can do. I stabilize most of my wood. May I pick these up? Pardon me? May I pick it up? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, okay. I just wanted to know, look at the jimping on that one and the file work on that to create that jimping there. Just look at that. Tom, oh, you got to try I think that. that's up your alley. And this is something I would go for right there. Look at that full stag handle on there. Look at that file work there. And uh, if, if Mrs. Knife Delights is watching this, here's a Christmas idea. Yes, Mrs. Knife Delights, I even have the contact information right here. <laughs> oh, here's another one. Yeah, these are probably my top knives on this table today. And, um, I, I can put see. the curve between the two woods. That's a challenge to do. Sure. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. This, this is, is a small maple, crotch walnut. Nice. 416 stainless on the garden club plate. Now, are these full tang? Uh, the full tang would be like this. Okay. Yeah, Either these way. are internal tangs. Internal tangs, yeah, okay. The butt plate, the butt plate will screw into the back of the tank to okay. hold it all together. Okay. And then you also do your own leather work. Right? Yes, sir, I do my own leather work. Look at that. That takes some work there. Look at the stitching on that. Beautiful brown. An extra layer there. Nice welt on there. I like uh, I like burnished the very, knives. Burnished very smooth. Yeah, that's nicely done. Very yep. well, That's outstanding. It's a little sweeter. That's a flat grind where mm -hmm. most of my work is hollow. That's a RWL 34. Sandbar stag handle. So, can you explain to our viewers what's the difference between a flat grind and a hollow grind? What's what's the pros and cons? The uh, hollow grind is uh, this is an eight-inch hollow grind, and uh, guys generally fall into one or the other. Okay. I generally do the hollow grinds. I used to do both, and then uh, I do a little flat grinding just to remind myself I like hollow grinding. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. That's good. There's some really good flat grinders here, but yeah. um, it's always a challenge for me. It is. The, uh, I guess the uh, the hollow grind will give you a, a thinner edge right. that will last longer until you get up into here. Uh, uh, most of us aren't going to live long enough to really get up into that part of the snow. No. no. You know? Probably yeah, no. so um, uh, the, the flat is probably, to my mind, is probably a better slicing, uh, like if you're slicing bread kind of thing, you want sure. it flat rather than that, spread it apart like right. you did with the white or yeah. top on the hollow grind. But, okay. but it's just not, most guys could tell the difference. Like okay, you know, well, great. Just, well, we've, well got, we've got your contact information. Yeah. Um, when I get this video uh, up on YouTube, I'll uh, email you a link to the video. Okay. And I'm sure I appreciate you right. uh, taking the time to speak with us today. Right. Thank you. Thanks for stopping, guys.